seven fish today yeah so first of all before i get to today i'm so sorry that i've made a video it's just i didn't think it was that interesting and i don't think you guys would honestly think it's that interesting to hear myself repeat the fish's story over and over again even though it is nice to remember them to be honest so here's what I've gotten some fish tank supplies today for the new tank that's going to be set up in the next couple of weeks that I want to show, as well as some parts of a tank over there. So I'm going to see you in the next clip to show you the tank. I'm not going to really be moving it around. And, oh yes, that privacy pop in that bucket, I apologize. Those are just background things. I'm sure you guys aren't really going to care about that. So we're just going to be ignoring those. Those do not have anything to do with the fish tank. Okay. So there's a fish tank, of course, with some gravel and plants, and there's some fish tank supplies. Top fin, this PetSmart brand, I believe those are just some kind of instructions. And there's just a close-up of the image of the fish tank. Now, I'm not exactly sure what kind of fish we're going to be getting, but platies are first. So yes, I will occasionally be doing some videos when there's like an interesting topic to cover about a fish that's alive having... Um, an event happens and for example, they, like, a fish dies or something like that, I'll be making some videos. Or maybe just with a regular, um, idea in mind or something, celebrate a holiday or something. But anyway, Top Fin Underwater Worlds. Embrace your sense of adventure with Top Fin Underwater Worlds, inspired by the world's most magnificent, aqu aqu excuse me, aquatic destinations, Top Fin invites you to discover the expansive life waiting for you just below the surface. And what's waiting for us inside the bucket is the new decorations coming in the tank. So I'll see you in the next clip for that excitement. Okay, so I got all these at my PetSmart a couple minutes down the road, or my not my PetSmart, but I suppose my local PetSmart. So the first thing, which was probably pretty easy to see for some of you, is this Top Fin Underwater World Aquarium plant. So this is a large pink plant. I'm trying not to touch them too much to make them uh, safe for the fish. And there's some green plants, some smaller ones hanging off it. This is pretty cool. Just gonna put that aside. Let's see what's next. Oh, here's a classic that we're recreating. The Hiding House. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, do not use... Rinse thoroughly in warm water. Do not use soap or detergent. Because that is toxic to a fish and will kill them. So there's some fake snails and some small plants. Of course, there's another fake snail. So I've actually held the hiding house before, either during tank cleaning. I don't know if I actually did do that or not, but definitely when it was put in the tank just over three years ago. And of course, I didn't have YouTube or Life of Seven Fish then, so... There's no pictures of me holding it, but here is evidence that I've held a hiding house right here. Of course, I just knew that I had to get that because let's recreate some of the plastics. And here's a smaller pink plant. So we can fit an additional thing. Alright guys, just trying to get these things out of here. Sorry about that. Some filter cartridges. A value pack with 12 months supply. My guess is that six of them. This I I showed off in another video, so we've had this before. I, th I think we have at least. So I don't even know how that got in there. That's all right. So what do we got here? Oh, perfect start. This is something new. We get the chemicals and maybe a couple other things. We never really have a background of the aquarium anyway. But so you guys know, yeah, there wasn't really a good sample of aquarium salt. We may get some in the future, or Melifix. Supposedly that's what I might have been thinking of. Successfully starts to maintain new aquariums. Makes, sorry, I couldn't read that. So it said lap or mop, but it's tap, water safe, promotes fish health, allows instant addition of fish. So as you guys see that that water is kind of unsafe for fish. I don't know if it's unsafe, but it's not the best quality for fish. It might be considered unsafe, so you have to use that definitely. Here's one that I've seen before and not gotten many times, and now I finally have it. I think the fish will like this, <laughs> as well as the plants. I wonder if we're going to get a fish like a character with Rolo again. There are a lot of flies. That's smart. All right. And here's some... 
New fish food. Sorry, guys. I just thought some might have leaked out of the cup into my hands, but it looks fine to me. Yep, and it says the ingredients, of course. Sorry about that, guys. It's just moving away. Special flake food. Glowfish. I think it's a little different packaging from that. Since last time. Okay. And. Oh. Okay, so that's why it's so heavy. Because there's some bags of gravel. But I do want to make sure you guys get to see the bags of gravel. They are a bit hard to pick up. Yeah. Okay, so we got one of these top thin bags. Some pink, blue, purple, green. And then a couple bags of black gravel. There was in two. And, uh, yep, that looks to be it in the bucket. The bucket is just for maintenance. So there you guys go. I'll do the outro to the video in a minute or something like that here. Or... I suppose in the next clip for you guys.